substitutability is a principle in object-oriented programming. It states that, in a computer program, if S is a subtype of T, then objects of type T may be replaced with objects of type S without altering any of the desirable properties of that program. More formally, the Lisk of substitution principle is a particular definition of a subtyping relation, called behavioral subtyping, that was initially introduced by Barbara Liskov in a 1987 conference keynote address entitled Data Abstraction and Hierarchy. It is a semantic rather than merely syntactic relation because it intends to guarantee semantic interoperability of types in a hierarchy, object types in particular. Barbara Liskov and Jeanette Wing formulated the principle succinctly in a 1994 paper as follows, let be a property provable about objects of type then should be provable for objects of type where is a subtype of. In the same paper, Liskov and Wing detailed their notion of behavioral subtyping in an extension of Hoare logic, which bears a certain resemblance with Bertrand Mayer's design by contract in that it considers the interaction of subtyping with pre- and post-conditions. Principle, Liskov's notion of a behavioral subtype defines a notion of substitutability for mutable objects. That is, if S is a subtype of T, then objects of type T in a program may be replaced with objects of type S without altering any of the desirable properties of that program. Behavioral subtyping is a stronger notion than typical subtyping of functions defined in type theory, which relies only on the contravariance of argument types and covariance of the return type. Behavioral subtyping is trivially undecidable in general, if Q is the property method for X always terminates then it is impossible for a program to verify that it holds true for some subtype S of T, even if Q does hold for T nonetheless, the principle is useful in reasoning about the design of class hierarchies. Liskov's principle imposes some standard requirements on signatures which have been adopted in newer object-oriented programming languages, contravariance of method arguments in the subtype, covariance of return types in the subtype, no new exceptions should be thrown by methods of the subtype, except where those exceptions are themselves subtypes of exceptions thrown by the methods of the supertype. In addition to the signature requirements, the subtype must meet a number of behavioral conditions. These are detailed in a terminology resembling that of design by contract methodology, leading to some restrictions on how contracts can interact with inheritance, preconditions cannot be strengthened in a subtype. Post conditions cannot be weakened in a subtype. Invariance of the supertype must be preserved in a subtype. History constraint. Objects are regarded as being modifiable only through their methods. Since subtypes may introduce methods that are not present in the supertype, the introduction of these methods may allow state changes in the subtype that are not permissible in the supertype. The history constraint prohibits this. It was the novel element introduced by Liskov and Wing. A violation of this constraint can be exemplified by defining a mutable point as a subtype of an immutable point. This is a violation of the history constraint, because in the history of the immutable point, the state is always the same after creation, so it cannot include the history of a mutable point in general. Fields added to the subtype may however be safely modified because they are not observable through the supertype methods. Thus, one can derive a circle with fixed center but mutable radius from a mutable point without violating LSP. Origins, the rules on pre- and post-conditions are identical to those introduced by Bertrand Mayer in his 1988 book. Both Mayer, and later Pierre America, who was the first to use the term behavioral subtyping, gave proof-theoretic definitions of some behavioral subtyping notions but their definitions did not take into account aliasing that may occur in programming language that supports references or pointers. Taking aliasing into account was the major improvement made by Liskov and Wing, and a key ingredient is the history constraint. Under the definitions of Mayer and America, a mutable point would be a behavioral subtype of a mutable point, whereas LSP forbids this. A typical violation a typical example that violates LSP is a square class that derives from a rectangle class, assuming getter and setter methods exist for both width and height. The square class always assumes that the width is equal with the height. If a square object is used in a context where a rectangle is expected, 
unexpected behavior may occur because the dimensions of a square cannot be modified independently. This problem cannot be easily fixed, if we can modify the setter methods in the square class so that they preserve the square invariant, then these methods will weaken the post conditions for the rectangle setters, which state that dimensions can be modified independently. Violations of LSP, like this one, may or may not be a problem in practice, depending on the post conditions or invariants that are actually expected by the code that uses classes violating LSP. Mutability is a key issue here. If square and rectangle had only getter methods, then no violation of LSP could occur. See also, refinement, solid, the L in solid stands for Lisk of substitution principle, type signature, composition over inheritance, references. Bibliography, general references. Specific references. External links, the Lisk of substitution principle, T.S. Novial, 2003.